Today we're going to install a tensiometer uh, right near the root ball of our young trees to uh, measure the soil moisture. A uh, tensiometer was invented back in the early 1950s and it's been around a long time. Uh, growers still use them and they still work pretty good if you maintain them. And let me tell you about the tensiometer just a little bit. This has a porous clay cup right here and this allows water to move back and forth inside the tube here. The tube is filled with water and it's blocked with a, with a, a cork right here. I'll show you the cork. Right here. Now if the cork wears out, uh, the tensiometer will fail. So these usually need to be changed about once a year. I'll put that back in. Now what we do to get prepare the tensiometer, we fill this with water and we put in a bucket of water over, overnight and then we put a vacuum pump on the top here in the morning and we pull a vacuum while it's still in the water and little air bubbles will come out of that porous clay cup and you keep pulling the vacuum until all the air bubbles disappear and then you know you have a solid water system through the whole tensiometer. You put the, top, the cap back on, tighten it down, Now as the roots try to draw water from the soil, they also tend to draw water through this porous clay cup. It pulls the water column down and turns the dial. Uh, zero is usually about, zero to five is usually saturated soil. And in our decomposed granite soils here in, in Valley Center on the hillsides, we usually water it about when the, when, the, when the needle reaches 20 to 25. And that's usually about 30% moisture loss in the soil. And that's when we'll, we'll turn the irrigation on and replace the water. Now I'm going to show you a secret how to install this. First of all, we use a soil tube to dig the hole. We go about uh, 8 to 10 inches. In this case, we were about 10 inches, I think. And pull the tube out. If you don't have one of these, you can use a, a 3 quarter inch pipe and just pound it into the soil and pull it out. Or any kind of a probe will work just fine. Uh, don't use a big shovel or something to disturb a lot of soil. You want to make the smallest hole possible. Now these do fracture if they hit a rock, so be careful you don't jam it down into a rock. And here's the secret to installing this that makes them work really well. Pour, pour some water into the hole. And this is called mudding in. We're going to mud this into the hole. You can see the water come out like that the way down and we will just kind of push the soil up against it make a nice tight seal and right now we see it right next to the root ball as the tree grows we will gradually move this out away from the from the tree a little bit to measure the proper amount of moisture uh, I usually tell growers to uh, on the uh, on as a standard put a shovel handles length away from the trunk and the shovel handles length away from the sprinkler. That's usually about the right spot. Okay, that's the conclusion of this one. And later on, we'll show you how to install some other moisture meter devices in the soil.